Hello, this is Johnny Phillips. I'm here with Junior Achievement. We prepare students to succeed in the global economy. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Bob DePiro. I work for Verizon Wireless. I am a, a managing partner for our business sales group. Bob, I want to thank you to, for taking the time out and speaking for a little bit, sharing some insight for our students. Um, to start off, can you share your job story? Um, meaning, you know, what do you do for a living and why you choose to do it? Sure, no, absolutely. Um, so I'm currently I'm a managing partner for our business sale. So I manage um, three small to medium um, business teams all across the Philadelphia Tri-State. And then I also uh, have three uh, major account managers. They manage strategic accounts, so our larger thousand plus employee accounts. Okay. In terms of those accounts, um, we want to give a little more specifics on on, on what you're managing or what your team is working on? Oh yeah, absolutely. So, and, and, and well, we're, we're all in this technology. So we're selling ways to, um, to communicate. So it depends upon the different business, if they just need voice communication, if they need email, um, and then other parts of technology uh, being uh, voice service, video service. So we do um, like voice over IP, uh, video service similar to what we're on today, and um, and then anything else that's going to make uh, a business run smoother and be more profitable. Okay, some really important work, um, especially as things are moving toward the virtual space and, and you know the office space is shrinking a little bit. So thanks, thank you for sharing that. Um, yep. uh, speaking on technology and, and working with Verizon, um, how many different types of jobs have you had? Um, did they all relate to this current position that you're in now? Uh, no, um, when I was in high school, I, um, I wanted to be an automotive mechanic. So I uh, was good with my hands, like taking things apart. So, um, so that's what I did. I went to school, I got an associate's degree and then, um, finished my schooling, um, to be able to get my bachelor's in um, business administration. But specifically, I went to school for automotive electronics to be an electronic specialist. Um, I did that for seven or eight years, and um, I was supposed to open up my own shop with um, with two of the guys I worked with, and and that ended up uh, falling through. So uh, I almost was a, a small business owner myself. Um, when that happened, um, I ended up going in a different direction. Um, a friend of mine was working for Bell Atlantic Mobile at the time, and. Um, they brought me in and uh, I sat at a bench and I was soldering phones and uh, at, at that point it was also for the uh, the wire line department so it was also fixing boards for for the wire line or for the wire line part of the business also um, I worked for there for two years and um, somebody that since I was a liaison for Bell Atlantic Mobile somebody from Bell Atlantic Mobile um, brought me in as an operations person um, to do inventory control and, and to um, be customer support. Um, so I, I made the move over and um, uh, took on that responsibility, worked, worked there for a couple of years, and, and I finally got into my first sales position. Um, they were opening up where we were selling, um, reselling our product through um, our indirect partners. So uh, at the time it was Radio Shack, um, Certain City, Best Buy. And um, so I had uh, probably like 200 stores that I had to manage. It was all about building relationships and, and, and teaching people how to, um, how our products works and, and, um, and then how to sell them. Uh, that definitely caught on the bug. It was similar from from kind of where I started because even though you're you're working on cars, you're you're selling yourself and you're and you have to sell to get people to want to have you do work on their car. Um, it was a good fit for me, just um, you know, just being able to, to talk to people and um, to to see what their different needs were and how to fix their problems. Um, uh, from indirect, I moved into the uh, business channel from, and I started out as a, as a salesperson carrying a bag, moved myself up to a senior manager and now up to, um, 
now to a matching partner. Thanks. Thank you for sharing that. You mentioned um, you know, some some interesting to, uh, concepts, right? So those transferable skills. And I'm interested um, to hear if your interest in being a mechanic um, is relative to your interest in working with technology and software through Verizon. Similar mindsets. Yeah. No. Absolutely. So. Um, yeah, I was I was interested in in, in being a mechanic because I was good with I was good working on cars, and um, I went in and I and my my major was on electronics because I could sit there and, and look at a system and and be able to figure out if and, and go through the steps and figure out okay if this piece is broken it could be this this or this and and working at Verizon is very similar. When I go into every um, customer appointment, everybody does something different. So one day I could be talking to the, the CEO of uh, a large global company. The next day I could be talking to the owner of a small plumbing company. And everybody, their end users all use devices differently and they all have different needs of what they need done. So when I go into a meeting, I really have to go in um, I uh, have to have very good listening skills, but understand what they do, how they're doing it today, and then come up with a game plan of really how you can help them do it better, quicker, cheaper, more effectively. And, and that's really the idea. Become a, 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 that trusted advisor. Nice. Right. right. Using those skills from a previous job or previous interest and just turning it into uh, you know, something else and, and learning that you can build on that. All right, so I would ask, yep. you mentioned your first job after um, wanting to start your own, your own shop um, and then you're answering calls and, and doing certain things. So what did you learn from that experience from your first job? Um, do you find that to be um, a positive experience or a negative experience? Um, <laughs> it was, um, it was, it, it was, it was positive. So, um, it, it, it was tough. Uh, I originally, when I first, before, I actually never was able to open up my own shop because uh, one of my other people, they, they were, um, they got injured. So we kind of all spread our different ways. Um, but being, but being, um, you know, even being a mechanic, I worked in a small shop that was, um, that was family run. So it was having that interpersonal skill with every customer that came in that even if you were having a, a bad day or obviously they were bringing in their car into a shop after them were having a bad day, something broke or they were getting towed in. So it was um, being able to, you know, diffuse problems and, and, and be able to um, get them into a, a better place and, and, and willing to work with you. So that, that personal skill of working with those customers in the shop made it very similar to what I do today, working with our customers day in and day out. Right, you're alluding to uh, the importance of soft skills, something that um, you know is going to be increasingly difficult for students to develop as they're working on a laptop and not really interacting as much face to face. So we'll, we'll definitely keep that you know front and center. What would you? What advice would you give to your younger self um, if you could, you know, go back and, and give yourself advice? What would you say? What would you do? Stay in, stay in school longer. Uh, I could not wait to get out of school and, and start making money. That was. Uh, I should have stayed in school longer and um, and and continued my education because trying to do it as you get older and you have kids, it's uh, it's it, it becomes a lot harder to do. Some, some really good advice that uh, I'm sure a lot of students can yeah. take from and, and say, you know what, it makes sense, right? It's not something I necessarily want to do right now, but if you see the payoff in the long run right, and have those examples, hopefully it's something that uh, you know, people can commit to. Um, and, you know, yeah. last question, um, for any resources or anyone that would be interested in working with Verizon or in your line of work, um, what information, what advice would you give them um, apart from staying in the school? Is there places they can look to, um, you know, internships or jobs they can get involved with? Uh, I was going to say, I know we have a resource page at, at VerizonWireless.com for internships, uh, but um, but I know that our, our retail stores are always hiring, and that's a great way to get your, your foot into the door. 
because um, they give you a lot of, of training, not just product training, but also sales training. And, and a lot of the trainings that, that I've been through throughout the years have, have definitely, they, they don't just help me in my work career, they help me in my personal career also. So, um, you know, being able to um, sell, I think, is, uh, that is a definite niche that you need to have. And it's um and it's a good um, skill to have in any position that you might have. Right, not being afraid to get your foot in the door, and uh, you know, knowing that you kind of have to climb that ladder a little bit and, and start from the bottom and get the training and get that experience. So it's definitely something we can all learn from, right? Absolutely, Bob. I want to take the time and thank you once again. Um, they, we say here that you know, time is one of the most valuable things you can give. So, you know, you taking the time out of your day to have this conversation and share some insight on your career path and you know, different things that you would have done, really appreciate it. So, looking forward to speaking with you in the future. Great, thanks, John, you too.